given the choice, I don't think there's a coach in America, nor elsewhere for that matter, who would not put Michael Jordan on their team. He's won the last three NBA scoring titles, has his team battling for first place, has an NCAA championship ring from college, and on top of that, he sells out arenas from Atlanta to Seattle. But in high school, the star did not always shine as brightly. Out of bounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win! I beat Michael Jordan out in uh, 10th grade for the varsity. I made it, and he got cut. Yes, I'm the, I'm the coach who uh, cut Michael as a sophomore. And I told him to go into math, but that's where the money was. <laughs> Even though he didn't become a mathematician, Michael's basketball numbers have brought about plenty of fame and fortune. But the road to success has not been as easy as it might appear at first blush. In fact, portraits of this NBA artist as a young man hardly revealed him to be the basketball player most likely to succeed. So my friend and I, Leo Smith, uh, who was about six, 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 seven at the time, and I was maybe five, nine and a half, we said we were going to try out for the varsity team just to see what happens. And because of Leo's height, uh, I got the short end of the stick, I felt, and uh, he made the varsity and I got cut. <laughs> I was big, okay? And when you're 6'8", you play basketball because you're tall. That way it wasn't because I was talented, I was just 6'8". You know, 6'8", I say, hey, you got to play basketball for us. And I look at you know, he should have played varsity because he was a talent in the 10th grade. Today, of course, Michael is one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. But on those rare occasions when Jordan manages to go incognito, he likes to pay special tribute to the player who beat him out. So when I'm out meeting people, if someone comes up and asks me, what is your name? I say, Leroy Smith. Because at, at that time, I was nobody. I got cut. People knew him before they knew me. So uh, I'd use him uh, as my alias, I guess especially when people don't know me or can't recognize me and they're not sure who I am. And I say, Leroy Smith, man, they, they think about it and you really look like Michael Jordan. And then I tell them for real. Fred Lynch made a mistake a dozen years ago, but today he is famous for it. The only one to ever cut Michael Jordan from a team.